Hey everyone, Alicia here from Stretch It App, and on today's episode of Stretch It Fundamentals, we cover the pancake stretch. Pancake stretch, also known as straddle stretch, is when the legs are out wide, turned out from the hips, and the body comes forward. Common mistakes is that the hip is not anteriorly tilted enough so that the belly button is far away from the floor even though we're reaching our hands to touch the floor. When we can improve our interior tilt, it'll be a stretch that will target adductors, your inner thighs, groin, and a little bit of hamstring. The first challenge a lot of people encounter when practicing straddle is sitting upright. One way we can adjust is maybe bringing the legs closer together and not starting in such a wide V angle. Also, you can bend the knees just to have relief with that extension, especially if you have hyperextended knees and it's uncomfortable to place weight on them when leaning forward, you can bend the knees as well. Another modification is to place a block under your hips being higher off the floor then encourages more of this anterior tilt, which again is going to better lead your belly button to touch the floor. Lots of times if your hips are back and you reach forward, although my hands are touching the floor, my stomach is far away. And for us to make that change, we then have to shift the hip back. Something you can practice in the straddle position is a good morning exercise where you could place hands on the shins, leaning forward and back. And notice that we're doing so with a neutral spine so that as we lower, we don't curl forward. This is what tends to happen, right? It's natural for us because the lower we lean forward, heavier gravity is and naturally we'll want to sink. But we're looking to keep the chest as wide as possible and if placing hands on shins is tough, you can keep your hands behind the hips instead. Only go as far as you know where if you go further, you'll start to collapse. Return upright, breath in, prepare. Exhaling forward from that hip, crease back, tailbone back, and sit up. Once you've accomplished this and you're able to tilt from your hips, when reaching arms forward, the lower you go, again, you want to think hip back, hip back, hip back, because if it doesn't, it'll be awfully hard to get completely flat if we're limited here in our tilt. So even if you can only place your elbows on the floor, try to fully extend here from your hip, wide chest forward, and if you wish to reach elbows out, then you can drop the chest lower. If you would like to practice that with bent knees, you could also place rolled up towels or pillows under your knees to have support there. Still practice that same hip tilt, wide chest forward, tailbone back. If you would like to improve your hip flexibility, make sure you check out our classes on the Stretch It app. Link will be down in the description box. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel.